one of the big ones, and, and listen, I see a lot of this because as a method acting teacher, people come to me with emotion all the time and they think like, oh God, I'm gonna knock David Socks off. He's gonna be so impressed. Watch this. And they're just got kind of emotion. It's like flying off of them. And I'm like, Yeah, just not that interested, right? So <laughs> how do you get from what we want? Like method acting is known for its emotional content, right? It's known for, for having like this personal quality that unlocks like tremendous emotional stores in people, resources in people. Um, we draw sensitive people from all around the world because they know this work is gonna give them an outlet, an emotional outlet, an, an emotional outlet to express themselves. Um, and our work is not about emotion. Right? And your work as an actor is not about emotion. We, we touched on this a little bit when I was talking about, you know, how to personalize your work in script analysis, right? And this idea of holding on to results. And emotion is just a result. So just because you called it an emotion, or just because it, it, is, it shows up on some stylized diagram of the heart, does not make it any less of a, of a result than anything else, right? So as actors, we're always trained to, to not play the results. That includes the emotions. In fact, mostly we're, that's what we're talking about. Don't play the emotion. So what does that mean? What it means is, um, first of all, emotions are actually too simple. Any single emotion is too simple to capture all the, all the complexity of any monologue, right? Um, I think most of us, that, that may not be intuitive for some folks, right? You may think, no, emotions are infinitely complex. The human range of emotion is infinitely complex if it is allowed to operate. If your, your natural sensitivity is allowed to respond. For a lot of you, what I saw was pushing emotion, right? So you just, like, you, you knew this had to be there, so you just kind of willed it into the scene. Now, for some of you, for some of you, it was just a superficial act, right? Like, we could, it wasn't anger or sadness or pain. It was just the appearance of anger and sadness and pain. That's a major, it's a major um, warning sign for us, right? We're, we're not about seeming. We're not about looking like. We're about being. So we don't want you to look sad or angry or happy. Uh, we want you to have actual sensations in you, right? But for some of you, the pushing actually resulted in something, right? Like if you're a sensitive person and you push, very often you'll get something, like something truthful, something organic will actually respond to the instrument. But it's a little bit like, you know, uh, um, I don't know, taking a hammer and pounding on a trumpet. Like it'll make a sound right? Or pounding on a piano, you will hear sounds from it. But, but that's not music, right? It, it doesn't have the complexity of real music. You're not, you, there's no ability to pick out notes. There's no ability to hear the individual notes as they play, right? It's just kind of a cacophony. And that's what we get for a lot of the, the scenes. So very often when there's one emotion start to finish, that's a sign, right? It's a sign that you just played the result. Um, you just played the idea of an emotion. Now, some people, some of you, there are a few monologues who were clever because you were pretty much in danger of that. And then in certain moments of, of intensity, you relaxed before the intensity came back and it just kept on coming, right? As if, as if oh, I made this change, so it wasn't the same thing all the way through. Yeah, don't mess with me, right? Like, don't try to manipulate me. Don't try, oh, here's what they, the audience is really gonna like this. Instead of giving them all the one thing, I'll give them this and then I'll break it up by doing something else and then I'll come back to, with it. Like, get out of my head, right? Do not try to control me as an audience member, right? Leave that to directors, they're good at it. Um, sorry for you directors out there, no, no offense. Um, but that in a way that is more of their job to compose the elements of the piece. If they think something is, is monotonous, it's their job to, to move to a cutaway, to move to another shot, a reaction shot to move to a wide shot or move into a close to, to break things up, right? The actor's job is actually to, to keep generating interest by, by you being interested in things. Actually get interested in stuff. If you are interested in things, emotions will follow, right? Not intellectually up here, oh, it's kind of interesting, yeah, I wonder what, the, I wonder what that character's doing, I'm talking to her, but how is she reacting? It's all still up here. As long as the voice appears talking, you're not really experiencing things, right? But you're gonna have to leave yourself alone, and then you'll have a real experience of probably a, and the experience of freaking out. It's probably the experience you'll get. If you actually sat in front of the camera and just let yourself sit for a moment without actually knowing what emotion you were supposed to generate, you watch, something will come. 
insecurity will show up. That's an emotion. And insecurity will lead you to cover it up, right? With, with some faux confidence. In a way, that's kind of an emotion too. That's a reaction, right? Then you'll react in some other way and you'll get yourself together and then you'll, you'll realize it's not working so well and you'll start, to, you'll start to freak out again and you'll move on, an, on your own range of emotion. Remember again, an actor's job is not to get the lines right. That is necessary but not sufficient, right? Yes, you're supposed to say those lines, but it's to endow those lines with, with your own, with your own um, messiness, your own humanity. Trust the scene, trust the lines, that you're gonna bounce off of them, trust that they're strong enough that if they need you to move to a certain spot, they will get you there, right? But your job is, is, to, is to keep being in contact with you, your world, your experience at that moment. Your experience includes the lines, includes the people you're acting with, it includes the emotional, or not, excuse me, not the emotional, it includes the um, imaginary elements that you might require in order to understand this scene, in order to, to live out this circumstance. But the emotion is just a result of all those things, right? So don't keep pounding us with them, please. Right? Leave yourself alone, see what happens. Good luck.